What's up, everybody? This is Eric, the tech preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. So I'm out here at the park having some fun. I'm doing some filming. And I got the Galaxy Note 9. I'm doing a revisit on this phone. I've been having this phone since the release of it way back in 2018. This phone was my favorite phone of the year. Uh, and I've been using this phone off and on for a very long time. Now, I got a couple of them. Uh, and the reason why is because I like to have the different colors and stuff like that. And the Galaxy Note 9 is a very special phone. So one of the questions I, I always get is, should you buy a Galaxy Note 9 in 2020? I'm gonna answer that question in this video. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts about the Galaxy Note 9. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I got the Galaxy Note 9. This device have aged very well over the last two years. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you, before I even give you my thoughts about the Galaxy Note 9, uh, uh, the question, should you pick up a Galaxy Note 9 in 2020? Uh, yes, it's a highly recommended phone. I mean, let's get this out the way, the first minute or so of this video. Yes, I would highly recommend the Galaxy Note 9 in 2020. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts, I'm gonna tell you the reason why. First of all, let's go and talk about the specs. 845 processor, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. You got SD card support, this thing. You got all the bells and whistles. You got the fingerprint scan in the rear. You have a headphone jack. All right, headphone jack on here. And Samsung has supported this device throughout the two years that it's been out. I mean, the, the phone came out in 2018, we in 2020. So yes, 845 processor. We got all the RAM, all the, uh, all the performance that you know and love with the Samsung device. Yes, you do have dual cameras on the back, front cameras on the front. So let's talk about performance, right? As, as a lot of people scrambling in 2020 to try to get 660 processors, 670 processors, 700 series processors, and six gigs of RAM, eight gigs of RAM, 20 gigs of RAM, and all that stuff like that. This phone has the 845 and six gigs of RAM. This is a powerful device. I'm gonna tell you how powerful this phone is. It runs DeX, not the desktop experience that you get on Android. And I complain about the V60 that, have, that has desktop mode. This runs DeX like a PC. Now here's the thing, if you wanna get a PC-like experience, plug this up, HDMI to USB Type-C, to a TV or monitor, a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and you have a a desktop experience. Now here's, here's the crazy thing about DeX. Samsung been doing DeX so long. To me, it's faster than the Chromebook. It's faster than some of these uh, older PCs out there and they do more. Like you think about this for a second, right? You have the power of the PC in your hand, right? You have the power of the PC in your hand and all you gotta do is look at my DeX videos and you see why I'm so excited about DeX. I love DeX. DeX to me brings in a totally different experience, especially if you're in the business realm. I could do my Excel spreadsheet here, get to my business, plug this up to my monitor, and boom, I can print it, I can finish it, and I can connect my Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and I don't have to carry a big, bulky uh, laptop with me. This is my laptop right here. So. This brings in a totally different experience. And not only that, it has to have the power to push DeX. And the Galaxy Note devices has the power to push DeX. So let's talk about the displays on here, right? And we all know that Samsung make the best displays, period. And look, here's the thing, it's so crazy how people is pushing 90 hertz and 120 hertz, especially on, on, on the Galaxy S20, right? Once you pump that device up to 1440p, you at 60 hertz. So you, you have the same kind of display here. Look, I know the touch input is a little different and stuff on the Galaxy S20, but I'm just making a point here. A point is that don't get caught up in all the hype about you got to get the latest and greatest in order for it to perform right. You have to be, you have to get this to perform right. Look, here's the thing. My, I can do things on my Galaxy Note that a lot of people can't do on the phone, period. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I pull out the S Pen, right? As soon as I pull out the S Pen, the first thing I say is, who's your daddy? That's it. As soon as I pull out the S Pen, the, uh, the first word come out of my mouth is, who is your daddy? So let's talk about the price. 
And look, here's the thing. This is why this phone is so special. The price, right? In the used market, you can get the Galaxy Note 9 for about 300 to 350 bucks. Look, in the used market. I always talk about the used market, man. The reason why is because I wouldn't buy this phone new. I mean, the phone probably costs about eight, 900 bucks new. Why buy the phone new? I mean, look, here's the thing. 90% of all the devices that I buy is used. And I don't, I, there's no complaints with no used phones. I don't have no battery issues with used phones. I don't have no, no other issues with used phones. So I know I hear a lot of people, and look, here's the thing, this is my experience, right? I have over hundred phones and 90% of them come from the used market. So that means if I got over hundred phones, I've bought 80 plus phones in the used market and 80 plus phones that I bought in the used market, I have zero complaints, zero battery issue, zero performance issues, zero this is zero that. So with my experience buying 80 phones, 80 plus phones from the used market, that's why I highly recommend the used market. So let's talk about these cameras, right? On this YouTube channel, oh my God, I've made so many camera reviews uh, between the Galaxy Note uh, and other devices. I mean, I put this phone through every device, almost every device in my arsenal. I've got so many videos with the Galaxy Note 9 going against other phones from, you know, uh, 2018 phones or 2019 phones, uh, you know what I'm saying? So uh, check out my YouTube channel if you want to see full coverage of these cameras here. Downtown, I got that heat, let's go. All right, guys, so this is a video sample of the Galaxy Note 9 the LG V60. I want y'all guys to see this. Now you got to remember, the Galaxy Note 9 came out a couple of years ago. LG V60 is the new kid on the block. But look how good the Galaxy Note 9 is when it come down to it. Man, I wish I uh, can't wait till Samsung put a One UI 2.1 with Pro Bowl back on the Galaxy Note 9. Man, uh, uh, uh. just want to give you a video sample. I might do a full camera review between the Galaxy Note 9 and the LG V60. I think it's about that time. Old against new. Look at the grass. You let me know. That's what I'm talking about. Old versus new. That's, that's what I'm saying. Wow. There it is. But let's talk about the good, the bad, the ugly with the cameras here. Right? One of the things that I didn't like that Samsung did with the Galaxy Note 9, and that's a shame that they did this. When they updated it to uh, One UI 2.0, they took away Pro Mode. Look, here's the thing. For content creators, Pro Mode is a must have. You have to have Pro Mode on your device in order to film. Look, with the headphone jack, Pro Mode, this phone was a content creator's paradise. You know, look, I've made a video about Pro Mode. Check out my YouTube channel and the reason why I recommend anybody to shoot in pro mode because of the issues with flickering and, and ISO changing and white balancing changing and different scenes changing and stuff like that. I've got a complete video explaining everything about why shoot in pro mode. So let's talk about battery life here on the Galaxy Note. Look, here's the thing. Galaxy Note will always give you good battery life. It don't matter what Galaxy Note that you get. Battery life is always going to be king supreme on, on Galaxy devices. And even with me having these phones for uh, almost two years, uh, the battery life on the Galaxy Note has stood its ground and I'm still getting full day battery loot, uh, life out of this device. On screen time is really good. Uh, so when it comes down to battery life, I don't have no issues with battery. I'm still getting good battery life, even with all the cycles that I put on this phone. I'm still getting good battery life out of these devices. Other than that, the Galaxy Note is a highly recommended phone for 300 to 350 bucks, no problems. I would highly recommend this phone. You get everything. I mean, you get a headphone jack, you get everything, good cameras, you get, uh, you know, a beautiful display, you got the S Pen, S Pen software, you got good performance. I mean, I could go on and on, I keep bragging about this phone it's because it's just that good. Don't, don't, don't get caught up on the hype of that you got to get a, a new phone, this phone is old, you got to get the new 2020 devices. Don't get caught up in that hype. 
Don't get caught up in the hype that this phone can't play games and all that stuff like that. Man, look, I've proved all that stuff wrong a long time ago. I got plenty of videos on my YouTube channel talk about gaming phone versus regular Android phones and, and older devices versus new devices and stuff like that. Well, I recommend the Galaxy Note 9 uh, in 2020. Oh, hell yeah, Will. It got the specs, it got the performance, it has everything in between. I love this phone. This is why I, I will never give up my Galaxy Note 9. The Samsung did something special with this device. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy Note 9 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.